Okay, I had a student email me that was having a problem with, uh, problems with this uh, linear programming problem and how to formulate it. Um, so I was just going to go over it real quick. And this problem is like a lot of different problems you'll see in textbooks, but I got it from this this textbook right here, An Introduction to Management Science by Anderson, Sweeney, and Williams. Okay, very good uh, quantitative methods uh, book if you want to use it. So... Um, uh, so normally when I do a problem, I like to go given and then, uh, and, and I always like to start out with what am I given? In this problem, we're given X is a uh, number of units from Kansas City. I'll go KC. This should be units, I guess, right? And Y is the number of units from we'll say M I N N. Abbreviate a little bit to save time. And we want to find uh for part A we want to find uh uh write an expression for total number of units received by the retail store in Des Moines. I'm abbreviating a little bit. Des Moines. Okay, so for, for solution for part A, so the thing when you're doing these type of problems, you want to do things one at a time. So you can see I'm trying to divide the problem out. What am I given? What do I need to find? And what is my solution? Now, I didn't read, read the problem. It's pretty simple. A retail store in your mind's eye is receiving shipments from Kansas City and Minneapolis. So so we've got uh, we've got uh, DM and it's receiving shipments from Kansas City and Minneapolis okay and we can just let me just draw a little picture sometimes it's good to draw a little picture insert uh, shapes I'll draw a little arrow so we know shipments are going from here and from here to Des Moines right so that's basically what's going on and so for solution uh, for part A the expression would be, well, total units received equals, well, they already declared the variables for you. X is the number of units from, from Kansas City, X, and then the number of units from Minnesota would be Y, okay? And that'd be your answer. And I like to highlight my answer as yellow. Also, you can if, if you're going to submit this homework on Excel, you could double click here and you should label each problem and put each problem on a separate sheet. So I'm going to call this 10 1. I mean, I'm sorry, I did that backwards. Chapter 1, problem 10. Okay. And so now I've done part A. So, A. So part B, we're given some more information, right? So, uh, for part B, I'm going to, I guess, let me go down. For part B, so we want to find, well, how should I do this? We're given some more information. So let me, uh, let me do another given over here. I'll do it to the right. So now we know the cost, we're on part B. So Kansas City cost, oops, sorry. Trying to go too fast. Kansas City, and I don't want that underlined or bold. What's going on here? Bold. I don't want to take it out. Okay, Kansas City cost. I don't know what Kansas City cost per unit. Well, they give it to us here. It's uh, 20 cents. So I'm going to put a dollar sign, point two. Okay. And we're given 
the Minneapolis. And see why I'm putting it in a separate place so I can, if I need to, I can uh, point to it later, it is 25 cents per unit. And for part B, we want to find uh, develop an objective function. Or total cost. Okay, so for a solution, well, we could say total cost equals, well, let's think about this. This is the number of units, and this is the cost per unit. So that times that would be the cost. If there was 10 units and the cost 20 cents a unit, that would be $2. If this is 10 units and it's 25 cents a unit, it'd be $2.50, right? So all it is is this times this plus this times this. So the total cost is equal to, uh, well, x we, x is a variable, right? So it'd be, so, so we're just going to put the number in here. So it's going to be, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go here equals, 20 cents, right? And this is equal to, and this is just x, right? x. And then plus, I can put the plus here, I guess. Plus, I'm going to go equals 25 cents. And, oops, 25 cents, enter. And we put the y here. And that's the answer. Okay, um, so part C. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing this give and find solution for each one since they're adding in more information in each one and I want to keep it simple. So for part C we're given um, the monthly demand at retail stores is 5,000. So we can say demand is, is 5,000 units per month. So this is, this is the total demand. Or maybe we should say demand, what they say in Des Moines. So remember, so let's look, let's look back up here. I think what they're saying, they need 5,000 units in Des Moines, so they need units from here and here, but they need 5,000. So we want to find Um, we want to develop a constraint. So, uh, so, find a constraint that requires demand to be met. Okay, so for a solution, okay, so it has to, it doesn't say, it doesn't say at least 5,000, it says equal to 5,000, it requires 5,000. So I would say, I would say that um, X plus Y, that's the number of units, that's the number of units from here plus the number of units here is equal to, and I'll go ahead and just go equals 5,000 here, right? So that's the answer. And that was, this was part, this was C, right? All right. So let's keep doing the give and find because they keep adding information. So here it says no more than, 4,000 units can be shipped from Kansas City and no more than 3,000 can be shipped from uh, Minneapolis. So, um, so we're given no more than 3,000 units. Okay, so uh, how do we say that? Well, the number of units from Kansas City, we'll just say it here, we'll say it here first. No more 
than 4,000 from Kansas City. So that factory, the most units they can make is 4,000, right? And I'm going to just copy this down. And this one, this one is it's mini Minneapolis. And what? How many units can Minneapolis ship? They can only ship three thousand. And we want to find um, it says uh, develop constraints. Okay, so for a solution, well, no more than, so X is our units, right? And over here we have 4,000. So what symbol do we put in here? Should I put in equals? Well, that means X equals 4,000. It says no more than 4,000. If it says no more than 4,000, it can be equals. But it has to be less than. So no more means less than or equal to. Okay. So X, the number of units from KC, <coughs> is less than or equal to 4,000. Okay. So can you guess what Y would be then? It would be the same thing, right? But in this case, it's going to be equal to 3,000. Okay. And this was part D. All right. So finally, on part E, it doesn't give us any more information. So we'll say find part E. What does it say? Well, it says, of course, negative amounts can't be shipped. That's true. Well, I guess I could be sending sending stuff back. But uh, but anyway, in the context of this problem, we want to stay in the positive quadrant where X and Y are both zero. And we want to combine the objective function constraints and develop a mathematical model. So we can just say develop a mathematical And the way I like to do it in Excel, I like to go X and Y. They're both greater than or equal to zero. And we also know our uh, cost function. We can see our objective function. Um, we know that it's equal to... Uh, where is the objective function right here? It's right here, the total cost. So we would say equals 20 cents times X plus uh, 25. Whoops. I'm going to go equal 25 cents times Y. That's my objective function. And we can say... Uh, and then we can call... And then what we can do, so this is my objective function, this is my cost, so we want to maximize this. We want to minimize this. Right, we don't want, it's a cost, right? And then finally we can go, uh, constraint, we can, what's the first constraint? It's, uh, units from, we'll just say KC ship. And so the KC ship, we could say, that this is equal to 4,000, right? So 4,000. So X has to be less than 4,000, right? And so we go less than or equal to. It says no more. Oops, I shouldn't. I'm sorry, I did that wrong. 
This should be 4,000. And this should just be 1. 1 times the number of units here. This should be 0. Uh, we'll go shipping. And Minnesota shipping. The most Minnesota can ship. Okay, this is going to be 0. And this is going to be 1 times y. And the number of units, and that has to, and y has to be equal to 3,000. Oop, I should use the equals, not equals this. Okay. So this is how you would set it up to make to make it look on a to look at an Excel. So that's the answer. So hopefully that kind of helps. Uh, it's best to take it a step at a time. Uh, and if you're doing it on Excel, uh, a lot of problems I like to do of all my givens at once, but and then just go do all my finds at once and then just do my solution but sometimes it helps to break it up even more and just and not try to do everything at once just try to do things one at a time what am i given what does i want to find in that part and what's my solution okay for part b what am i given now a lot of times you have to say well it's a part it's an addition to this right what am i given in addition to what i'm given here and then what do i need to find now and then so you just have to do it a step at a time and then it won't be too too overwhelming so hopefully that helps how to set up a, a simple linear programming. Now, I didn't show you how to solve it, but I have other videos out there on YouTube on how to solve it. So that's it for today. Uh, by the way, I'm going to have my picture come up here. If you want to subscribe to my channel and you haven't subscribed, click on my picture. It'll subscribe you. Also, like like my video if you like it, and uh, give me a comment, too, if you'd like. Thank you much. Bye.